Hi all you little artists out there. Welcome to this art class with me, Noel. Um, normally I have a room full of children that I can see and talk to, but the way things are now, we're going to do it a little bit differently and we're going to do it like this online. But hopefully we'll just have as much fun as we would if we were here in the classroom. So, <clears throat> when I was thinking about when I was thinking about what we might do, I thought, well, it's summer, there's lovely flowers out there, there's lovely colours out there, why not paint some flowers? So, today we're going to be painting some super big flowers, similar to this one. Here's a few I had done earlier. So, let's get started. So first of all, you're going to need some paper and um, you can use, like I'm using here I am, some white A4 paper, but you can use cardboard, you can use cereal boxes, you can use old wallpaper, anything really that you have lying about the house that you don't need anymore, you can use that to paint. Now we'll practice first of all, we'll start drawing some flowers. So just get a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen or a marker. I've got, I'm using my white board, it's actually falling down, whatever, anyway. I'm using a white board because it's easier because I'm recording, but you'll probably be on the ground or you'll have a little table or chair or whatever, and you can draw on your paper. Now I've got my pen, so I'm just going to draw a little circle, like a black circle like that, I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm going to do some wibbly wobbly lines around the circle. So when you stop, I want you to do another wibbly wobbly line around that. And then I want you to do another wibbly wobbly line around that. And there's our first flower. Simple as that. Now the next one I'm going to do is another simple one. You draw a little circle like that. And then we're going to just draw some petals around it. So they can be long or short, wide, around. And that's another flower. And another one that I like to do is just, again, a circle and then a little bump, little bumps around that circle. So you can do more bumps around that again and more bumps around that again. You can make it as big as you like and then you can put little designs into it. You can put little lines. And that's another type of flower, simple. Another one then that I like to do is you get your pen and put it on your paper and don't lift your pen off the paper. Try not to lift your pen off the paper and go up, across, down, up, across, down, down, across, up, down, across, up, up, across, down, and go again. Bigger, up, across, down, up, across, down, down, across, up, down, across, up, across, down, up. And you can keep going with that until you fill your page. So there are just a few little practices for us before we start painting and you can do as many of those as you like and you can you can do your own shapes and your own types of flowers and um, so next we're going to start our painting so we need our sheet of paper like so I'm just going to stick it up here And next, if you have a crayon or an oil pastel or something like that, I'm using an oil pastel. Just a simple plain oil pastel, go with black. I'm going to draw a big circle on the middle of my page because we want to draw super big flowers like the ones I've done earlier. And then we're going to do super big petals. So what I want you to do is put a little lines outside of your circle. Just little lines like that. So it's nearly like the sun, but they're shorter little lines. So you can see that there. And then we're going to join those lines up with big petals. So we're going to go up, around and down. Now some of these petals will come off your page, but that's okay because we want them to be really super big. I don't want to have them small petals so that your flower is all squashed into your page. You want to have big, super big flowers. So again, come down. You can have as many petals as you like. I'll just show you 
and take it down. You see that some of those petals have come off the page and some of them have stayed on the page and some of them have overlapped and that's okay too because all flowers are unique and all drawings and paintings are unique. I, I always say just like your handwriting everybody writes differently so everybody draws and paints differently as well and there's no right or wrong way it's just whatever way you're happy with. Now next we have to decide our colours so I like to mix all my colours around. I, I don't like to just use the colour that comes out of the tube. I love to just mix around with different colours. So what I, I've got a, a little paper plate with paint on it that I've been using earlier. But you can put any colours you like. I've just put a few of my favourite colours on a paper, plain paper plate. And I put white in the centre. It's a bit muddledy now because I've been using this plate already but if you I use white in the center because if you mix white with any of these colors you get a lighter a lighter shade and it just gives it a nice bit of texture and just makes it pop that little bit more when you put your white in so without further ado I'm just gonna get my brush all right back again to you okay so now you have to choose your color so for example I'm going to Take orange, I'll put some orange on my brush. Now I've already, already got a little bit of pink on that brush from earlier. So there's our orange. And then without washing my brush, I'm gonna go straight for yellow. And I'm gonna put yellow underneath. And as you can see, there's a little bit of the orange coming through. You can see little streaks of orange, little lines of color coming through. And then I'm going to put my brush into the white. And as you can see, you get a lighter shade. So I'll just take that off here to show you. So you've got your orange, your yellow with little bits of orange going through it, and then you've got underneath, you've got orange, yellow, and lots of white, and it gives it like a tint or just like a pastel -y type of color, which is nice when you put it into your painting. Okay, now next, we're gonna choose the colors for our flower. So I think I'm gonna go with a nice, I'm going to go with an, an orange center. Okay, so I'll get my brush. Again, I'm not going to clean it. Just going to paint the inside of my flower. Now you can see uh, little bits of white and little bits of, of blue from earlier where I would have used my brush. And I didn't clean it, but that's okay because we don't want it to be all orange. Because when you look at a flower, if you look really close up at it, you'll notice that there's all different types of colors in that flower. It might look orange when you see it first, but when you examine it close up, you're always gonna see different little shades in there. Now, next for the petals, I'm gonna go for, I think I'm go, gonna go for a nice blue. Okay, so without cleaning my brush, I'm gonna dip into the blue, and I'm gonna start coloring my petals now. You can see there that there's lovely bits of white and orange in my petals from my brush because I didn't clean it. So you just go around there. You can go as as slow or as fast as you like, because you can take you can take your own time and enjoy painting your flower. A little bit of white in there as well into that just to give it a, see the nice streaks of orange coming down there in that really nice okay nearly done on my last petal give it a little bit of white and there we have it okay so there's your nice big super big flower and next what we want to do is we want to paint in the background now you want to pick a contrasting color and by that i mean not not a similar color to your blue petals because otherwise your flower is going to get lost in your painting you want to pick something that's completely that's going to make your flower pop so see here i have red and then there's like a green background so it makes the flower pop here i have a blue flower with kind of a pinky kind of a purpley color as the backdrop for this one i think i might use 
a yellow backdrop, okay? But I'm gonna wash my brush now because there's lots of blues and oranges and things like that on it. So I'm gonna give it a little clean over here. Back again to you. I use these little pots, I find them awful handy. They're like little yogurt pots that you might see in the shop. And I never throw them out, I just keep them and I always find some little use for them. You can put little tea light candles in them or you can use them like this for cleaning your brushes. So just give it a little swirl around, dip it around the side of the, the jar like that. Okay. And then I get a little bit of tissue and just clean it off. It doesn't have to be completely clean. It's just to take most of the paint off. And now I'm gonna go get my paper plate again and I'm gonna dip my brush and go for a nice yellow. Because I like yellow against blue, as you can see there, it's making the blue pop. So, push that in there. Put a little bit of white as well on my brush. And it's okay as well if a little bit of the, the color of the petal goes into the, the color of your background because it'll just, Give it a nice texture. Okay. Now, okay, so next we're just gonna put a little bit of yellow here on this background, and just here at this part of the background. So try and fill in all the white if you can, okay? that so now next what we're going to do is we're going to just put little bits of, of highlights of white on the petals and that again is just to make it pop and to kind of give it like a 3d type of effect so get a little bit of white on your brush you can put a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here and a little bit here on your in the center of your flower Okay, so that's your flower done. Let's take it off so you can have a little closer look at it there. And what you can do now is you can make lots more flowers. So maybe you can make different colors, different shapes, like some of the doodles that we did earlier, some of the drawings. You can replicate those and put them alongside your painting. And you make a whole wall of flowers. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to leave you now and enjoy your painting. And I look forward to seeing your work. So if you could upload it onto this Facebook page, it'd be fantastic because I love seeing all of your work, all your unique work when it's all done, your hard work. So thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed our art class, Painting Flowers. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.